All right, everybody, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about shooting for the square real quick. So now I'm, these are going to be the examples I'm going to use. I'm going to bring this one up. Now this is how it was shot. And in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, you can go over and you can just change the ratio to one to one. And now this one happens to come out quite nicely dead center like that. So that's the way we're going to leave it. But you see how much of the image we're losing on both sides by shooting for the square. But our focal point of the image is brought stronger and more forward by shooting it for the square. So that's example one. And we're going to get one of the jellyfish pictures that I shot last week. And we're going to click crop. And we're going to choose one to one. And to see this one, I don't really like it in the center. So I'm going to slide it over just like this. And there we go. And now we have that one. And the third one was out in the other side of the state in Virginia. And there we go. And now I, I don't like this one off center either. I think I want this one centered because it sort of has a rule of third feel to it. But I think I'm going to bring it, let's see, maybe like, let's see, maybe like that. Make it just a little bit bigger there. There we go. So that's all there really is to it for shooting for the square is you just have to plan your shot and think I'm only going to be using part of what I see. I'm not going to be using everything that I see like in this one for example. If we go back to as shot you can see there's a lot to this image on both sides both here and here we're going to lose all of that but if you plan it when you do the shot, you'll end up coming up with some really nice images. Can't wait to see them all. Thank you so much.